Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to make a cinematic text reveal effect in CapCut PC like you see here. Let's check it out. All right folks, so this is quite easy. It's just a few simple steps. So if you stick with me here, I'll guide you through. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the left and we're going to go to library. Okay, so if you're in the screen, you just go to library, you click on it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the search bar and you're going to put in black. And then for me, it populates black background. So that's what you're going to type in if it doesn't populate it for you. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick the black background. I like to pick the one that doesn't have a time listed on it. Just personal preference. I'm going to click and drag it down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's 10 seconds long. So I'm actually going to make sure that this is highlighted and then I'm going to click on it and drag it. And then I am just going to look up here. And as you drag it, you'll look at this and then you'll hit 10 seconds. And this is now 10 seconds long at the 10 second mark. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top and then go over to text. And then we're going to add the default text to the track by hitting the blue circle there. And then we're going to make sure that the text box is highlighted and we're going to drag it and make sure that it's the same size as the black background. Our next step is we are going to go up here to text and we're just going to change it. I'm going to, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to make mine cinematic. Okay. And then what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to make sure it's highlighted. Sorry. I went off it for a moment there. Uh, so we're back at text basic and then I put in cinematic. I'm going to go over to effects. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for one in particular and click on this and scroll down a little bit until I see this one. Okay. So this is the one I want to use for the cinematic text re reveal effect here. So I'm going to click on this and it has been inputted there. I'm going to go back to basic and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to font and then I'm going to search it. So I, I see the one I want to use, but I'm just going to search it for um, the base of, of finding it here. Uh, so you can see how you can find it. So search it, Anton, click enter. It's a bold one. I like it. It's a, quite a popular font, font amongst the creators here. I'm going to make it bigger, nice and big, maybe about this big. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to click beside the black background clip. I'm just going to click it and then a drag and I'm going to make sure I highlight both the text box and the black background and release. And then I'm going to right click on either the text box or the black background and click on create compound clip. Okay. So that step is done. We're going to take the playhead and move it to the left to the start. Okay. So there it is. Then we're going to go up to our right beside text. We'll go to video and then it's going to show you this. We're going to go over to mask. Okay. From mask, we're going to go down to mirror. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you what I use. So we can rotate it this way. Okay. And I'm looking for 60 degrees. So it's right there. Or you can just input 60 right here and hit enter. And that will give you 60 degrees. And then for size, it's the size. It's how wide these bars are from each other. So this is 544. I want something probably less than half of that. So I'm going to go with like 200 and then enter. Okay. And then, so I'm at 200 and then what we do is we want to change the feather. So we can either change the feather with this button right here, or we can change the feather with 
this right here, okay? So I'm gonna change the feather to about here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down. I'm gonna drag it down to right about here. And the next step is we're going to add a master keyframe. And what this keyframe will do is it will make sure that for the start, our position is going to be right here. It's going to keep our rotation at 60 degrees. So just like this, it's going to keep our size or our width here between the two lines at 200 and then it's going to keep our feather here at 27 okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll move the playhead to about three seconds and then just go back three seconds and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this to the top right okay drag it to the top right but i like to show a little bit of the gray right here and what that did was that made a position keyframe but I also want to keep the other settings here okay I want to keep all the settings the same for now so I'm gonna hit the keyframe on that and that will make sure that everything stays the same and then we're gonna go over to we're gonna move the playhead to six seconds And we're gonna drag this back down. To about here. Okay. And then that's gonna automatically populate the position keyframe, but I wanna make sure all the other keyframes are input as well. So this is a case where you actually have to manually input the keyframes. And then I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna take this to about eight seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and put it smack dead in the middle of the screen, which would be where the vertical and the horizontal meet. And I was having trouble finding it, but it's going to be right about here. So I'm gonna release, it's right in the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to hit the master keyframe there, make sure everything stays the same. And then what I'm going to do is move the playhead to the very end of the clip and then I am going to click on this and I'm going to open everything up so that you can see the whole thing here okay and I'm just going to leave it right about there that will make the last keyframe and I'm just gonna bring in the master keyframe here and let's take a look and see what this looks like. All right, folks. So I am going to put it on full screen. I'm going to press play. Okay. So that is how you make a cinematic text reveal effect in CapCut PC. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And I hope you have a very nice day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.